advertising is like any type of advertising that promotes women in a positive way. Also, I think that half of the advertising, when it involves women, we're given like unrealistic pictures of women and it is sexist. They're not really given roles, they're just kind of, they kind of have their bodies chopped into segments. So it really like objectifies certain parts of women. I feel like ads are just genuinely like unrealistic because they're just not like real people like them. This is the first ad we're gonna watch today. Oh, my beer, lovely. Hello, I'm Helen Mirren. If you drive drunk, you, simply put, are a short-sighted, utterly useless, oxygen-wasting human form of pollution. So stop it. This is supposed to be fun. Cheers. Nice and cold. I think that the message was good, but within that message, it was a little harsh and a little extreme. I also think it's unusual that they chose women because I haven't really seen many women in like Budweiser or just in general like beer commercials because I feel like beer is stereotypically more of a male consumed like beverage. You have this elderly British woman who you would think of as like more gentle and polite giving it to you straight and drinking beer and that is empowering and that's great to see because I don't think I've ever seen that on TV before especially in an ad for the Super Bowl. Action. Sweetheart, don't look at me like that. It's gonna be amazing. Oh, oh. This is a disaster. Who's the genius who puts a girl in heels on a subway grate? Miss Monroe, eat a Snickers. Why? You get a little cranky when you're hungry. Better? Much better. I felt like it was very much, you know, showing kind of like the angry, crazy, ugly side of the woman who, you know, hasn't had her food yet. And then, you know, you also have the parallel between that and, you know, the stereotype of what women are like on their period. They're cranky and angry and they crave chocolate. And I think that in so many different ways, that is such a bad message to portray. way that the you know, message bubble was just kind of going in and out and not like responding. That scared me so much because I didn't even realize what it was about until the end. And I think that has a really great impact. I'm very happy that this message is out there and that, you know, everyone who watches the Super Bowl is going to see it. But in terms of who's putting it out there, I think that they're not holding like their players to the same standards. Even though these ads are so great, they kind of don't matter at a certain point when nothing is happening to players who commit terrible acts. I just question how genuine it is because I feel like actions speak louder than words. Oh, you look good. Thank you. Hey! <laughs> so you gotta take my little girl out, huh? Yep. <laughs> Back so soon? Here you go, sir. Because a dad's gotta do <laughs> what a dad's gotta do. Hey, hey. Honey, what'd you guys do tonight? Hey. He doesn't trust the guy to be alone with his daughter, but then he he'll just him. trust this, this kid with his car. You know, it's just kind of ridiculous. I feel like the funniness <clears throat> of it and having Kevin Hart in it softens the blow, but if you, you know, look at it objectively, it's not sending a great message. I think I saw a lot more like pro-female ads last year. This year they seem kind of either like neutral or sort of tilting towards like a positive light, but 
Everything was very like pro-feminist to, to me. Even just not making it black and white between men and women, I think that people who are like even younger than us are the most impacted by that because they are so malleable at this age that, you know, seeing things like this on the television, seeing people who reflect them and positively reflect them, I think is really important and that sends the best message.